Welcome to a video from the digitalize.com. We've got a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 19030 for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring, and this is a 20H1 build. We're getting to the end of development of 20H1, and a good sign is the fact that the watermark has disappeared down here. So the last build's all shown the build number, and that's gone from down here. People kind of think that that means that the project is done and this is the release build it's not that it doesn't usually work like that there's a few more builds still to come but it does mean that um, this is the potential to be the release the, the build that goes out to uh, to all windows users but i don't think this is the one but we are at the end of development of 20h1 and um, we've uh, seen builds go out to the slow ring and i think we'll just see a few more builds and then and then F fast ring will get uh, the next development of Windows 10 and uh, this will then the slow ring will continue to get the 20H1 builds and it got to release preview and then to Windows users. So what's new in this build? Well there's actually only just a few fixes uh, as well as the watermark's gone they fixed an issue where um, if you try to reset your Microsoft account from the signing screen it would sort of lock up for a period of time with a black screen and you'd have to uh, reboot they've got rid of that they fixed the issue where the nightlight settings were uh, getting lost on your primary monitor after if you connected and reconnected a secondary monitor and they fixed an issue with um, out of memory usage when uh, watching long HEVC videos and they fixed issues where certain apps would not um, fully maximize. So I haven't seen any of those issues so far, which is which is good to see. There's still um, some known issues, the battle eye anti-cheat software, which has been on for a while. Um, the, they are saying that um, some insiders are seeing the update pro process hanging for a long time when attempting to install a new build. I had no problems installing this build. Uh, it went straight through and uh, not had any issues really installing builds for some time. Uh, let's check if there's anything else, but I don't think there's any other builds. Uh, they're saying that um, some insiders have seen that if you go to optional updates, which we would see if there were some optional updates and install a print driver, that uh, it would then say that you st the optional update is still available and there's a print driver available, even though you've installed it, but I haven't seen that. I haven't, then I haven't got a printer on here. And uh, there's still the issue with the USB 3 drives coming with the start code error 10 or error 38. And uh, I've not uh, seen that on my Surf Go, which has a USB 3 drive attached to it. Um, I'm running this on a VM, this, this this test here on, uh, on my service laptop too. So that is actually all the changes uh, with this build. We're at the end of the development, uh, which is uh, good to see. I'm looking forward to see what we get next with Windows 10. Uh, I like documenting these build videos so you can go back and watch previous build videos all the way back to the previews before Windows 10 launched on our YouTube channel. If you've got any questions, you can email me in at digitallifestyle.com at iSticks on Twitter. Thanks for watching.